Hi everybody! In this session of Python series, I want to talk about virtual environments and why it's so important to have it for each uh, project. We also, of course, go in details on how to actually set it up, activate it, and use some of its amazing uh, features. In principle, every project should have its own folder and environment. In the environment for the project, we install different packages that we need for that specific project. This is very useful for being organized and keep track of different projects properly. In addition, and perhaps more importantly, using virtual environment is extremely useful when you want to run uh, your codes in another computer, for example. As you will see, thanks to the virtual environment, we will be able to generate a file that includes all packages we have installed within each project. We can use that to easily install all those required packages in a new computer just before running our code in that computer. So I know many of you who are not professional programmers would be like me at the beginning that I was saying, you know, do I really need this? But even in this session, you will see that using virtual environments are super useful. And from now on, I would not start any project without first creating its own environment. With this intro, let's get into it. First, we need to make sure that pip, which is uh, the package manager, is installed on our computer with new versions of Python. I think it's newer than uh, 3.4. It's installed automatically, but if not, you need to install it. So hopefully you have it. To check whether pip is installed within uh, your, your computer or not, you can either go to command prompt within Windows here, or you can type things uh, within your terminal in, in the editor here. I'm using Visual Studio Code and I'm going to use it in here the way to type. So you say pip space slash slash version. And here you will see that it gives me that uh, yes, pip 20.3.3. That means that I, I have it in here on my computer, which was in fact installed within uh, the version of Python that I had. So I can check again uh, my, my Python as well. So if I check the version, I will see that yeah, 3.9.1. So it's, it, it makes sense that it was installed with that version. So now we want to create a virtual environment here. So first of all, we need, for example, a project uh, and a folder. So I, I go here, I, I have a, a folder, Python projects. I open it, there is nothing in, in that, that folder. Okay, so that's essentially the, the folder I am going to be uh, using for my project. I can open it here. I go to desktop, so it was on my desktop and Python projects, so that's the essentially the folder that I will be using is Python project and nothing in it as you can see. So we need to then uh, go to also that path of the folder so I can copy the path for it here and I go cd I will go to the, 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 the path for the project. Okay, now what I want to do is to check whether virtual environment is installed on the system or not. So the way, way to, to check that is also we, we write virtual env dash dash version to see if it's installed or not. Now I see this message that telling me the term virtual env is not recognized as the name of the Ta -ta -ta, which means all it, it, it's telling you is that it's not installed within, within your computer. So how do we install it? We go to pip install and virtual env. That's the way you can install your the virtual environment within uh, the whole system. So we wait so that it's, it's uh, completely installed. So now that virtual env is installed here, I want to go to my folder, uh, create a new folder for specific projects that I am going to be uh, doing. Uh, and I would call it simulation because I am planning to do a simulation project. Okay. So what I would do, I go CD space and then tab. 
it brings simulation for me because there is only one in here so I go to simulation now within this project which is a simulation I have not yet started coding I want to have a virtual environment that I install everything that I would need for the project within that virtual environment so I will I would go to install that so I, I write virtual env space and v e NV, so virtual uh, environment that's the name of the environment I am creating here for this specific project I enter so that should create a venv folder within uh, my simulation project so if I go there I see that indeed a folder was added here called venv so now if you check here you can see that it, it exists here simulation venv in here in a way and here are the, the files within it I can also go and check it here and within the scripts you see there is activate so essentially what we need to do we need to activate this virtual environment to be able to start working with it so how do we activate it so we write v e n v if you have tab then it, it completes it for you then I, I needed to go to scripts and then from that to activate okay so if I go there when script activate that will activate essentially the the environment for me and that's where you see VNV is mentioned here so all it's, it's telling you in here is that I am now currently on this virtual environment okay so I and if I want to deactivate this I just write deactivate and as you see it's it's gone so now again I want to to activate it I would go to the same path okay and now it's activated okay so my my I am now currently in the virtual environment and now imagine that I want to do things that I need pandas within this uh, this project all I need to do is pip install pandas and this tries to to download pandas for for me uh, within this virtual environment okay now waiting to finish this It's giving me just a warning about uh, pip version. That's that's fine. So so it installed pandas within this environment. Now imagine I want to check which packages and which libraries are installed within my environment. All I do, I can write pip freeze. Then it tells me what has been uh, installed in here. Uh, you see all this this uh, this stuff has been installed uh, within within this environment okay so the last step is that as I said so I will be writing now a project of a simulation within this environment afterwards for myself and I would install everything within this environment okay so now imagine I, I wrote my program and now I want to run it so I need to activate this environment as I have done here and I explained before how to activate it and then run my program it's guaranteed that everything is is installed in there specifically when I take it to run it in another computer then what I need is a requirement file where all the necessary require the packages are are stored in there okay and which in this case for example now is this one so what what do I do I need to generate this this file for my project and the way I do it is pip freeze and then this and requirements txt okay if I do that all it does for me it creates a text file that it that stores all these these uh, requirement within this I can also go and, and check indeed uh, this file so it's a requirements if I open it it's all these packages everything that is installed within this environment is stored here okay and now if I take that project that I have written to your computer and I want to run that project 
I know what to run first so that I make sure you have all the necessary packages. So all I need to do is simply pip install dash r, which means the requirements file. Okay, requirements txt. If I install, I uh, enter this. So it's just trying to install all those packages that was stored there. And in fact, it, since in here I am just in, inside my own environment, all of them already exist. If it wasn't your computer, it would have uh, downloaded and installed all these packages easily and make your computer ready to run the, the program I have written. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this session. It is again very useful and very important to have your virtual environment set up for each project, specifically when you want to you know, run that project in another computer.